Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we're on the LZ Alpha, taking our 10 duplicates as far into the future as possible. But one of the things stopping our approach of the future is the fact that our thermal aqua tuner here, as you can see, is receiving some overheat damage. This is because it is made from not gold, is the important thing there. On this map, this is the Oasis map i'm certainly not sure which map that my i chose it might even be arborea but this is one of the maps that unfortunately comes with a no swamp biome this one this lack of swamp biome i thought wasn't going to be a big issue right up until right now right now is the point where i realize that i do not have any materials that i can make the thermal aqua tuner out of that will be resilient enough to the steam that actually gets this steam turbine going as you can see this steam turbine is barely up to let's have a look where is the temperature located barely up to 130 degrees we need to get steam up to 125 to keep this whole system here functioning and the uh the tra temperature transfer between here and here is not perfect, so there will be a gradient, meaning this will always be hotter than 25 degrees if it is going to indeed be working at all. So we need to come up with a solution for that, and the solution that I want to use is, of course, digging upwards. How could digging upwards not be the solution to all and every single one of our problems? We're going to go and find space. It turns out that space... space... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Well, space, anyway, as I was saying, man, we're going to have to figure out what that is. Space space has uh, these things called meteors. Crazy, I know. Who knew that meteors even were a real thing? Let's get rid of this and actually go up somewhere else. Who knew that meteors were even a real thing? But these meteors, they come along and they dispose, uh, drop a whole bunch of various materials, whether this be rock or... Um, or metal upon us and the metal that i want is of course the gold why is this closed there should be no reason for this being closed all right so it's a it's a geyser of some description some sort of maybe water i'm gonna send this line up here instead we'll uh, deal with whatever that is uh with appropriate manners we'll figure out which way we actually want to go maybe we actually want to end up coming up the other side i don't think that i want to get onto with today is starting clearing out some space over here this is a little area over this side has been sat being pretty boring throughout the majority of our playthrough here and i think it's time that we started making use of it you might remember that i have repeatedly complained about the fact that because my duplicates live in the middle of the map when they go out of either one side or the other uh, they have to make a choice between exosuit docks and so i would like to remove this possibility this is going to require a complete redesign so uh, i'm going to start clearing the space out but i don't actually know when we get to get around to making the actual area. Oh, look, here comes Mr. Lion to start the digging process up here. Beautiful, wonderful. I'm not sure what I made these all out of. Granite. Okay, so that, that should be fine. I'm not even sure what material we have the most of here. That would probably be uh, nice to build most things out of. Maybe we actually want to build it all out of igneous rock. Ah, look at them all sleeping there nice and calm. Let's have a quick look at the oxygen overlay, see how we're doing. We're actually doing okay. We've got a little bit of a pit down below where the oxygen is, uh, the carbon dioxide, sorry, is being turned into oxygen with these oxy ferns down here. That's working out pretty well. The whole base is looking pretty good. We've got a fair few bits of hydrogen kicking around, but they're all just going to slowly make their way up, maybe make their way to the top of the base in the same way that the carbon dioxide makes their way to the bottom. I notice there is a little bit of natural gas there. Got to really start thinking about what we're going to do with all the natural gas that is collecting up here. It turns out that we do not have a natural gas filter amongst all of this, which is a little bit of a shame, uh, especially as I don't think we've got room. I mean, maybe we could put another one in here and then try and take the natural gas down to this lot down. No, 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 this lot down here. Uh, it's definitely stuff to think about. But over on this side over here, this is uh, really awkward to build over here. I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, put a, put a bunch of thermal tiles down, right? Oh. Oh, suddenly I can't actually get the bit that I want to use. So I'm not sure whether this is a great plan, but it's definitely a plan that I'm going to follow through with because I want to know how viable it is as a plan. So, of course, we have the perennial issue here that because only one duplicate can get on a ladder at any one time, or at least there is only one exposed face, that only one duplicate will come along and work at this at one at one time. So, uh, well, I'm going to make a nice little dig down the side here. This should be absolutely wonderful. Should hopefully bring Miss Align to the game. Oh, there she is over there. What's she doing right now? Sorting out the food supply. I mean, this, this is very, very uh, important work, but it turns out that all of these are still being used up. All got oxygen, though, so that, that's pretty good. In fact, are we... Oh, my wrong one backing up with the oxygen here we are but is it a problem i don't think so 
I think the place that might be a problem if it backs up would be this one over here. But you can see that it is so far away from backing up that I don't actually think it's going to be a problem. I'm wondering if we'll, I was going to about, about to say, I wonder if we want to pop another one on here. But look, we, nobody uses these ones. It's over this side where we need to be. No, oh, man, Frank has immediately gone on and done the tiles. I mean, that is great work. I am all about it. But I did kind of want to figure out what is in there. Maybe if we... Uh, dig out a few blocks around this the uh, capabilities of going in one side and finding out will actually present themselves to us oh yeah here comes mr the, uh, to dig the wall down as well all right beautiful beautiful this is what we want guys come on we need to get up to space and we need to get some gold maybe hopefully we'll find some gold anyway oh no i'm suddenly worried that the metal gold is what it's going to be dropping as opposed to gold ore because gold it turns out that the aqua tuners can only be made out of uh ores where, where is the utilities here we go if we click on the aqua, you can see it's only ores. despite the fact that we have iron aluminium lead they're, they're not on there it's only ore that you can use so I'm, I'm hoping when we get up there it's actually ore that's being dropped be interesting to find out eh Okay, the jobs are many and varied, but with everybody attacking this like this, or at least with Missalina and Mad Frank attacking this like this, we should be able to get through it pretty quick. Okay, what are we doing down here? We've got some igneous rock down the bottom here. Interesting place to be picking up from. Uh, it does actually mean that all the hydrogen that was collecting here gets to, like, vent out the top. That's beautiful. And this is trying to clear this whole area out until we only have oxygen up here. So that is pretty cool. It is, of course, right now picking up the chlorine. So that should be flowing through all of here, stacking up in our stacker. Okay occasionally not stacking up very well oh dear we're backed up with something what is it it's oxygen isn't it it's also just the standard flow through this this unit here hmm awkward it is legit the oxygen isn't it look at this okay okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put down a gas vent right here and we're gonna get rid of half the oxygen we've got that there's no way that will go wrong right Okay, so we didn't get the vent in place, but with all the duplicates in here, we are consuming the oxygen at a bit of a higher rate, and every now and then, these guys will, as you can see there, spill out just a little bit of their contents, allowing the, the whole thing to go through. Uh, this, this is not, not great, actually, to be honest. We need to somehow figure out a way of getting this gas pipe down and into this lot as well. Uh, I, in fact, I, I think I can see how to do that. And then we can just start stacking more and more and more of these exosuits over here for the moment, at least until we get... Oh, you know what? I'm going to this gas vent here. I can't select it in this view. This gas vent here, I'm going to deconstruct it uh, at the top priority. And then we're going to use this to jump over. Uh, in fact, can I place this down right now? I doubt I will be able to. But we would then use this to jump over thuswards down over this and try and feed into the end here hopefully this won't try and back pressure this way but with the fact that it's like you know got its uh, directionality here from the bridge it should work out fine for us actually i do believe given the way that i've set this up the oxygen coming through this waste line will actually take priority over the oxygen coming up from down below and i kind of do want that to happen so we don't what is this purple stuff uh, so we don't end up uh well, the word that I'm looking for is sour gas. I don't want sour gas in here. Uh, so we don't end up jamming the whole system up with oxygen. That that would be the very bad point there. Why is there sour gas here? Yeah, there, there's a bit. There's a bit. It's managed to escape. I don't know how because we've had all these doors closed. Look, there it is there. How? Look, we've, we've kept pressure seals. There's only... Oh, no. All right. Well, some bits have escaped and I don't know how. So first thing in the cycles morning, I asked Luna to come down here and mop all this area up. And I thought that would be the situation where we get to swap this round to being below. But no, it turns out there is a bunch of heat in this granite underneath. So I need to replace these with some insulative tiles. I put these on a nice and high priority. And you can see the people are getting to it. This does mean, of course, that the uh, the hole trying to dig our way up here is taking a little bit of a backseat. But never fear, as soon as it is done, we will carry on back up this way. Uh, hopefully this will then mean that we get some cooling happening a bit more frequently over here or at least a bit more efficiently uh, and it should mean that we're not trying to cool down all these like super hot rocks under here as well as cooling down the gas okay final piece is being put into place i definitely want to make sure that we can like sweep this entire place up here so we're not like just trying to cool everything down maybe if we put some ice in here it would actually work to our benefit but i don't think having these random bits of rock kicking about that are just like ridiculous temperatures let's have a look this uh, this lead here is 90 uh, 59 degrees uh, these are all things that we do need to try and keep an eye on especially as these things are in front of the thermo sensor here and that's the thing that we're really actually trying to cool down we're just going to try and use the gas to do so so it kind of indirectly does what we're after 
Okay, we seem to have done a fairly good job of keeping this line clear, and I think we can assume that this is the amount of oxygen our duplicants breathe overnight, so that's pretty cool as well. I think it's time to start expanding this little structure out, though. The atmospheric check... Uh, not checkpoints, docks. I'm going to go for two more of those, and then we're going to go for a bit of ventilation. We're going to take those across the bottom here, and then, of course, we still want to make sure that they are powered as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Why is that one bigger than the other? Who knows? I have got a one. I want to put these two tiles here. That one's lead. Let's not do that. I want to at least put a metal tile down here. It says it's iron. Okay, that would be cool. Uh, because I want to know whether we can pass the heat up through here. It doesn't seem to be going in uh, quite the way that I would like to. I'd also like to get this sweep hair and sorted out. Hopefully over here, these are still accepting of all the issues. Yeah, all right. For Forrest is there saying, yes, I will do this. I have uh, changed this door around and locked it up because we need to try and cool this place down as I have uh, previously mentioned. But at the same time, oh, it's not going to be working because of this. Look, oh, here comes Luna to uh, to waste some more of our Wolframite, maybe? Probably. All right, we'll, we'll just let that carry on running. As long as we carry on some cooling going on, that's all good. A little bit worried about the water that we're going to be losing out of the door, but uh, I guess I guess we'll just be all good with it. Over here, people will continue the dig up. I was kind of expecting us to be almost at to the space right now, so it turns out that, no, we are a little bit closer. Uh, maybe, maybe we're actually got more... Maybe there's much more to go, but that's fine. That's fine. This is the only issue that we've really got going on in the base right now. I am quite happy to devote the majority. No, dig for a nine, please. It really doesn't want to do that. Uh, devote the majority of my duplicant's uh, efforts towards that. It looks like this one might actually be taking quite a while to implement here. It's taken definitely a little while to uh, to build up through the abyssalite. Hopefully the fact that there was abyssalite was the hold up there and we'll be getting, moving on. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Please, please let it be so. Uh, we get some fun and games this morning as people dig through this fossil and let through all that water. We still got two bits of a bit light up here. Oh man, this is really, really uh, a little bit much for us to deal with. Why can't Miss Align get through? Because she's stuck inside. How is she always stuck inside? We definitely got to figure out a better way for her to get out of here. Also, how is this water coming into it? 31 degrees. That's pretty nice. No ice to cool us down today. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, all this is probably going to end up filling with water. I've just, I've just got a feeling. We've got this little like layered cocktail effect down here, though. But yeah. Oh, talking of wa water, beautiful. I kind of wanted to watch that happen, but whatever. I will make deal with it as is. All right. If we just mop all this up, we do have places where salted water gets put. In particular, this place down here. Though I'm a little worried that yeah, too much liquid might be down there. But never fear. Once the water comes down here, it's just going to get dropped on this hot stuff, and then it will flash into steam and give us some salt and then some pure water. How is 40 degree water getting past this? Look, 23. I don't understand. Did it not stack it back up? Maybe maybe there was a bit of a problem with stacking there. I mean, as it is, the bubbles of water that are coming out are quite small. I wonder if we can do the same stacking trick like here. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll go with plumbing. I want to have a liquid bridge coming back and then you have two going forwards perhaps just the one because literally all we've got is this one material going through right let's let's try that and see if that will end up stacking it up to uh, uh biggest bubbles we can hello what have we here it's a bit of sand it's a bit of sand okay it's a weird colored sand but we'll take it oh it's about to let some more oh no that, that's uh that's bleach stone never mind me Oh no, this gas reservoir can, can contain 150 kilograms. Like, can't we get more than that in a single tile? Why are the gas reservoirs so not dense? What is the deal with that? That's terrible. And it's not like the chlorine where we can just pump it into something else that eats it. I don't, I don't think sour gas actually does anything other than turn into methane. Let's have a look at quickly in here. So it turns into methane. It's a hydrocarbon gas containing uh, high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide, uh, byproduct of heat and petroleum. Didn't mean to do that, but that's where we're at. And yeah, that is literally it. It doesn't say we can burn it. It doesn't say it goes into anything. It's just a byproduct. Hmm. Okay, this is where our salt water is ending up from up top. It's uh, gently warming up, gently warming up. What happens when it does reach 100 degrees? It turns into steam, leaves salt behind, right? I'm guessing so, I'm guessing so. 
But anyway, up at the top of the dig here, I think we might even want to take a small, sharp detour to the side here, just so we're not digging up and through. Like, I mean, like, look at this, all this abyssalite right here. So uh, if we come across over like this and then get even more ladders out, beautiful, beautiful. That That's going to be amazing. Well, well, there's another cycle gone. Oh, it's a lot of cycles just to keep digging upwards. I, I don't understand it because my duplicates, they're pretty good at digging, but this time, this just seems to be a little bit much for them. Okay, this seems to be the first influx of water since the... Uh, oh, that not going anywhere at this point. Mm, okay, how come? I would have thought it would have quite nicely just passed off. Disabled by automation grid? No, that's... That's not what we want at all. Hmm. Definitely the right way around. You send it up here, down and to the back to meet up with more. Hmm. Because this is what we really want to stack up, is this lot coming in here. And if it's not working there, I don't know what we're going to do. All right, so we've got full sight. Why isn't it going sideways? What is going on here? That is very much over. So this should be turned on, but it's saying that the pipe is blocked. I kind of disagree with that assessment, but I think I know how to fix this ish. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a pipe and I'm going to come in at the top here and we're going to go in like that. I then want to destroy this load of pipe and do one of them. In fact, we don't actually need to destroy that piece of pipe. And then have another bit of pipe coming out like that. And hopefully then it will carry on passing it across. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, though, unfortunately, because there's an awful lot of stuff being set up to go. OK, we have a bit of a, a situation a, a bit of a brewing up down here. You can see that we've got, oh, no, it's the end of the day. But you can see that this one is taking a lot of overheat damage because it's sat in a very hot oil. I didn't even realize. So I've, I've asked them to dig out this whole space under here. I didn't ask them very strongly, so but now I am. Uh, and hopefully they will come along and empty all this out and all of this will fit down underneath. I might even put some ladders and then uh, continue to dig down here and we can just send this somewhere different oh what's this diamond yeah i think i will thank you very much oh hello this guy was just sitting out out in the open here a cool steam vent i mean it's not that cool it's coming out at 110 degrees but that that's pretty nice okay it took far too long the missile line is finally up here to start taking out some of this uh this stuff to dig out of here uh, it should be nice and easy just to continue working our way up along this edge i'm wondering whether we can do things like you know put a little gap in there and then a little gap in there the fact that they're so far away from each other means no but i bet we could do it up the side of one all on its own to say what i mean by that if we uh continue this tunnel on just a little more actually up there because i don't want to be digging through this extra abyssalite uh and then go hey if we put a single line up like this and then you can see we've got like a little space to stand in there and then there's a little space to stand in here they'll jump up to this one and then maybe put another little space to stand in there and then we carry on bouncing them up either way i'm, I'm hoping that will work out for us uh if not i mean that's a bit of a shame but you know that, that would be great that would be great uh no i think is the answer there no <laughs> Okay, it's far, far too late. This gas reservoir is broken, but I know it didn't fall apart, so that's pretty good. We've not been leaking, like, gases everywhere, though there are no guarantee that we've not been leaking gases everywhere. Uh, where did all this water come from? How did steam get through here? This, uh, this is not a thing that should have happened. Okay, we'll lock that off, uh, and hmm, now, now we have some real problems. I'm worried that that steam is going to get picked up, turned straight into water. But thankfully, actually, the steam is turning into uh, condensed water and dropping down. Uh, it's probably doing a good job, actually, stealing the heat from this entire area. So actually, given some more thought, it's not too bad. Mm, okay, we got some problems over this side, and I think I know what's causing it to happen. Because we've got this output here, it's like, okay, I can go this way and go to two directions. And then we've got this one over here. So these guys come out and go, oh, I can only go there, so I haven't got any further to go to. So I think what we need to do is maybe get rid of this... Uh, and put down another liquid bridge. I know, I know, crazy. But with it being... Actually, can't cancel that one there. Uh, but with it being, in effect, a one-way valve, we should then be able to convince it that this is the direction it wants to travel, hopefully, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep, 
Insta instant solve. It doesn't seem to be going back round, but I suppose it is full pellets at this point. And you can see that it's shunting one in, one out. I mean, that's that's not really the best plan, but I suppose that will have to do for now. Still going to be increasing our temperature of the water over here quite a significant amount. That's what I'm mostly worried about. Okay, we're getting some water coming out at 20. We're getting some coming out a little bit warmer, but there we go. All right, the system is now into a situation where it is going to keep going until it chills the water. I'm uh, interested in what's going to happen down here when this starts flowing, though. We are a long way off that because we've just got to the hot part of that cycle, uh, but I will be keeping an eye out, and I'll give you a shout when we get there again. More importantly, though, what is going on over here? How are we doing priority-wise? Pretty good. I've made a little, like, diggy stairway up here just to try and get people up as quick as possible more ethanol uh really trying to find the top of that map but if we kind of zoom out you can see that this distance here isn't quite the same as that distance there and i think they need to be the same in slightly better news, this gas, gas reservoir down here has been brought into temperature range. Not quite, but we're working on it. We're working on it. 85 and falling. Mm, it's not quite falling, is it? Cycle 400. We're definitely changing a little bit of the pace of gameplay here. I'm now playing on the uh, top speed rather than just kind of passing it by on the lowest. Let's go back over to here, see how this stacker is doing. I mean, we're, it's slowing down things enough that uh, they stack up. Uh, I suppose that's pretty good. I wish more would be be getting eaten by the oxygenators over here but that's not the case little di disappointed about this maybe we need to get some sort of temperature reservoir not temperature a liquid reservoir on the go somewhere to hold all this lot until it's down at the sort of temperature oh that is actually down at the temperatures we kind of want J just about some of them are hot oh, oh, oh i see some space signs of space up here oh look vacuum back there and the background moves around okay we are starting slowly to get where we need to be oh wow this entire biome over here is slowly just about look at that 60 degrees well what have we got oh look we don't have any uh, abyssalite between this oil reservoir here coming in at over 100 degrees and the gold biome up here that's why it's all melty you know, I have no idea whether this system down here works or not. You might remember that this is the water supply for the auction for the base and for just about everything over here, to be honest. We've got ourselves a saltwater geyser over here. This is producing water at a very hot temperature. Let's have a look. 95 degrees. In that time after it, uh, after it erupts, all the water kind of like percolates down through here and eventually ends up getting trapped in this little trap here where we pump some of the hydrogen from this cold room that we've got down and through a bunch of pipes trying to bring the temperature down to 45 degrees at what point this door will open and merge the two sets of water uh, then i presume presume all the water that flows in this way uh, ends up drawing more hot water in slamming this door back down uh, sorry raising the temperature slamming the door back down and uh, beginning the cycle all over again but we're not getting amazing feedback here about what the temperatures of everything is hmm the exchange temperature is 46.4, so maybe at some point, the exchange pipe, sorry, temperature, so maybe at some point that will drop down below a certain temperature? No, how? Doctor, Captain Subs, what are you doing? Edible. Yeah, no, there's plenty of food. There's no way that you're starving through any reason other than your own. Gold amalgam. There it is. That's it. This, this is what we're here for. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, we are going to end up digging through this way. I think that's probably going to be a winner there. We're going to have a manual airlock here and a manual airlock here. There is no way that I am just going out and exposing all my beautiful, beautiful gases here to the vacuum of space. It's just not going to happen. So we want to do stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm even tempted to put a third door in here. Maybe even set up some sort of vacuum pump that takes all the gases from this one and dumps them back over this way. That, that would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Maybe we can just make our way into there, get that gold amalgam. Okay, so the thing that I also want to do with that being set up is down, 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 all the way down here. Hey, look, look Luna, look. Oh. I mean, you're very good. That is exactly what I do want to happen normally. But right now, this is what I want to happen. I wonder who's going to get on that job. Mad Frank. Of course he's going to come all the way from the other end of the base. Ah, oh, but this is what I want. You know. I wish there was a way to swap the build slash deconstruct priority. I want the buildings to take priority over the deconstruct. Is that, does that not make sense to you guys? Do you not want... Yeah, let's put the replacement in place and then take out the... The, the old one, right? Is that is that not something that should be a thing? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, the 
gold amalgam doesn't appear on here yet because we do not have pathing access to it. I think I think that's the ticket. Bah, downtime is happening. Let's see what principles we got here. This has been sat here for a little while. Arbor acorns. Go on, why not? I'll take that. To be fair, we could probably put down a whole bunch more of these. Why do these not be watered? Polluted water is up here. Why aren't people doing it? I don't know. Obviously, priority is not strong enough. Well, actually, probably what's happening is we don't have enough farmers. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Wow, we look at Mimi. She is over brimming with cool right now. 22 out of 12. That was more that the her eyes. I mean, look, look, she is so hyped right now. So hyped. What's this? What's this? Uh, oh, saltweed's fine. Beautiful. And I suppose Miss looks happy to be doing her job. Oh, look, yeah, there was a little bit of happy there for a little moment. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I like that. Oh, oh, oh. Alert! Surface breach! Amazing, my duplicates have managed to breach the surface of our rocky prison. I should be careful. The region is extremely inhospitable and I could easily lose resources to the vacuum of space. I'm actually a little bit worried about all this up here. Uh, are we are we losing gas up there? Let's try it. All right, also new log entry. Uh, uh, added a new log entry. Surface breach. My duplicates have done the impossible and excavated their way to the surface, though they've gathered some disturbing new data for me in the process. As I've begun to suspect, we are not on the target location, but an asteroid with a highly unusual diversity of elements and resources. What, we were supposed to be somewhere important? <laughs> Further, my duplicates have spotted a damaged planet on the horizon, visible with the naked eye that bears a striking resemblance to my historical data on the planet of our origin. I will need some time to assess the data the duplicates have gathered for me to me and calculate the total mass of the asteroid although i have my suspicions i already know the answer all right that's good that's cool that's wonderful i mean to be honest much more interested in oh look there we go we got little uh, little shooting stars coming in but much more interested in the gold that is to be had up here maybe we'll fight Ooh, explosions maybe there's more to be had out here so i hear that the uh, the meteors come in almost seasons if you will sometimes you get the gold season sometimes you get the uh, the iron season a lot of the times you get literally just uh, the rock the, the rock it's gonna fall on your head uh, so that's how yeah Dwayne Johnson you heard me uh, he's gonna fall on your head and ruin your day oh what was going on over there a shove bowl or something beautiful beautiful We're trying to get oh that, what was that what was that you got you got bad times for me I don't think you do all right I want to press f4 see if anything is being lost yeah look right there um let's put another insulative tile there and I want to have it being the highest build priority possible all right, thanks, Jelly. Really saved the day. That explosion was particularly close to my gold amalgam there. I'm a little bit worried about that. Also, where are these guys going? What do they do? Oh, man, they're just, like, moving around through all this regolith. That is cool. Still worried that, yeah, explosions are going to happen and take this amalgam from me. I need it. Don't take it. I need it. Okay, so we definitely got access to some gold now. Let's come into our utilities. Let's click the aqua tuner. Still not there. Why? Okay, let's... Uh, oh, maybe it's because of this little bit of dig here that needs to be done. Let's put that up on a much higher priority. In fact, let's put everything up on a much higher priority here and see if we can't get these things being dug out. Definitely. Oh, I, I need those materials. I need them. Okay, gold amalgam. Very hot, I've noticed. I want to sweep this up at a high priority. Hopefully someone will come along and put that in the uh, the box down below. I'm not sure who's going to do so, but someone best do because, man, we need it. All right, all that regolith is a dropping. Can we make that a higher priority than the dig? Not as far as Miss is concerned, if I remember correctly. Like, this this, this is just it. This is, this is how Miss lives her life, right? She's like, yeah, I will dig the hole. Uh, don't tell me to build the thing on top of the hole. I'm like, okay, fair enough. That's how you want to be. That's how you be. Oh, look, exposure. I'm worried about the exposure, if you're not not aware. I'm worried that exposure to space will lead us into a big problem. But looking at this, look, let's make those a bit of a priority. And then Miss can actually do a little bit of gold hunting for us. It's still so hot, though. Oh, no. Luna, what are you doing here? All right, let's uh, open this up. You are suffocating. Get on out of here. Okay, and then we go back to below. Must have had a bit of a temperature spike in there. No problem, though. I think mean, I mean, it's a little bit of a problem, but we got there. We got there in the end. Okay, Luna looks like she might be losing a bit of health here, but hopefully she'll make it all the way up to... What did she do? What did she stop? Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. She stopped for a breather. That's fine. That's fine. I'm totally about that. Let's press F4 and have a look at the uh, general composition of the base. I don't know why you weren't breathing up here, actually, Luna. But, you know, there we go. That's the situation we're in. Actually, wow. The, uh, the frame rate. Oh, it doesn't like doing this for me. Oh, no. We uh, also appear to have some problems over here. Good, good, good work, Miss and Mimi. Good work, but uh, 
Yeah, a little exposed, a little exposed. Some stuff's going to come down, it's going to hit all this, and we are going to lose it all, aren't we? Yes, indeed. All right, well, do we have gold amalgam? We definitely need that sweeping up thing. Okay, we now have access to the gold amalgam, but these guys have got stuck up here, so I'm going to use a little bit of uh, whatever's here, copper ore, let's do it, to build myself a little bit of a fire pole coming down here. Uh, that's aluminium, not copper, isn't it? I can't do that, can I? Oh, no. All right, let's, let's make this better. Okay, here they go. They are away or, or not. I don't know. Are they? We're, we're getting a little bit of a mess made up top here. But you know what? I think that's fine. Uh, I don't see any yeah liquids anywhere. You know what? It, it, it's cool. It's. I mean, it's not cool. Out of all, all things, I don't think cool is the word we're going to use. But uh, there, there we are. All right. So now that we have access, can we do it? Can we please? Not quite. How much more do we need? Oh, Frank, how have you gone and got stuck over there? Okay, can you do the digging or can you not? Looks like someone else is coming to do the dig. Why can't you dig this? That's the real... Qu ah, I, I see. Dig, dig down there, buddy. Is that is that better? That's much better. All right, cool. That's... Ooh, that's worked us out in the end. Okay, I'm not sure if we've actually managed to pick up... Yeah, the gold amalgam or not. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Ow, that looks like it kind of hurt, but that's fine, that's fine. We're supposed to be going through and looking for more stuff that says gold amalgam, and we'll take that home with... I mean, like, honestly, we could just kind of do this, right? Okay, new printable resource is available. Oh, it didn't take us all the way down there. I was kind of expecting us to uh, to get a gold, pl a gold placement there, just because, you know, we just worked so hard to get it. Why wouldn't it suddenly just give it to us? Uh, it's actually a little difficult to keep going around and spotting the gold amalgam amongst everything. There's a little bit up here somewhere, so I'm going to try and dig this pile of regolith down. Uh, I think there was even some more. Where did I see it? Like, back there. Do you see it? Gold amalgam. I want that. I want you. Well, I mean, this is one way of getting it all, I suppose. Uh, not not quite what I was after, but look, here's some more. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Man, how much of this stuff does it take? Not even a thousand is enough to put it down. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I've got the wrong thing select. No, no. I really can't collect, uh, connect, click on it. Why? 12, 1200, not 1000. Okay, we got, we got, uh, we got two more, two more hundred kilograms to get. We can do this. We can do this. There's definitely more around. This is going to expose some more. And I'm also setting some dig orders to hopefully get people up towards this sort of stuff as well. That will be handy if a little bit scary. All right, here comes Miss to make sure everything gets exposed. It should be nice and easy. I'm wondering whether the shove voles here go ahead, go ahead and eat anything that we need. Diet, regolith, dirt, and iron ore. No, they're not eating the gold. I'm fine with that. Oh, no. All right, so we're getting more meteorites coming in, despite the fact that we're trying to sweep up a lot of this. Oh, look at that one here. I don't know what it contained. I'm, I hear that the different colors, oh, mean different things, but I, I don't know. I can't I can't read them right now. Uh, I noticed that there's, like, that small yellow one. There's a big purple one. Another small yellow one there. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, big yellow one. Bam! What did that drop? No idea. No idea at all. Oh, oh, oh. The cipher's gonna get... Cool. I mean, I don't know. It might do. It might not. What was that uh, little thing above his head that he said? I missed that. I missed that. That's a bit of a shame. All right. What? What? What's Cubic gonna do? Oh, please don't! Whoa! There goes a bit of iron. So I'm guessing these purple ones, bam, copper, are the uh, metal ones. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's very cool, actually. Oh, look at all this just getting thrown about. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, Miss is still coming across to do some digging here, but we've got meteors falling out of the sky. So hopefully she's gonna be all right. I, I mean. I see a lot of reasons why that wouldn't be the case, but hopefully we can just push on through and everything will be okay. Down here, we should actually have another bit. Oh, it looks like we got that one. Uh, there should be more gold amalgam around. Oh, no! Okay, she's good. She's good. She's good. Can she get out of there? That's the big question. Uh, let's try one like that. Intensely bright. Have we got... We got sunlight coming from up here. Hang about, let's have a look. Light overlay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all the bright that we don't have underneath. Oh, guys, if we have a look in here, we got the thermal aqua tuna. We've got 1,300 units. 1,300 units of gold here. Oh, look, it actually tells us how much you need at the top. Oh, I didn't see that. I had to go look on the wiki and everything. But yeah, right at the top there, it's got it. Uh, hopefully now we can just, like, tell people that this, this really is the top high priority here. And we need to get this built, like, right now. Wow, look at all the construction supply jobs over here. Everyone's just like, yeah, 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 I'll go running up top and get all the gold. No worries. And I was just like, you guys don't understand what you're letting yourselves in for. Also, this has been sealed up behind us. Uh, I don't know if we've got access to all the gold that we had access to anymore. But whatever, they say they can still build it, so let's leave them still building it. Ew, ew, ew. What happened here? Someone 
drop to uh, hang about let's look at the yeah someone peed themselves here and just oh i tell you why why what's up what's up with this lot over here there's there's no reason for them to have done that i'm i'm not sure i'm not sure also cool water coming out there nice one last lonely soldier rem oh oh and he goes and drops his thing there i was just about to give shroutkus a whole bunch of compliments but you know what mate actually shroutkus is a real person so i shouldn't say that all right, Jelly seems to be the man in the know. He's going to come down. He's going to grab this gold amalgam now. Is he going to go deliver it? But is he going to uh, build it? That is the great question. As soon as we get this in place, we're actually going to have all of our problems solved. This will no longer overheat until it's like 50 degrees above the temperature that this starts working at. Of course, the problem that we did have was anything that we built this material uh, this out of. Any material we built this out of before then, uh, of course, was overheating the moment that started turning on. So, uh, you know bad jobs all around but now that this is going to be put into place it's going to be great we do need to get a little bit more water in there and possibly stop the flow of the crude oil now that is over 100 degrees in this crude oil i think it'll be pretty good just to keep this flowing like this but with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this space bound adventure i will see you guys next time when we're going to go up and try and actually make use of space as opposed to you know look look I, i've got this line going across my map here and i've made use of all this but none of this but I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!